There are more electric cars launching in 2022 than there have ever been in the history of the Indian automotive scene. And I am here to tell you about all the new EVs that are coming to India in 2022. Yo, check this out. You know what shakes up my morning or my day as much as a hot steaming cup of Rage Coffee? Electric cars, because they give you the same kick in the backside that this coffee gives me. Now, it's only fair to start off our EV list by the automaker. In my opinion, that's done the most for electric cars in India in the last few years, and that has got to be Tata Motors. Now, the Nexon EV has been a huge, gigantic hit. Over 10,000 of them sold. That's insane, considering the fact that we don't really, really have the charging infrastructure set up in all cities just yet. Anyways, the next big one from Tata Motors is going to be the Altros EV, and that's going to interest a lot of people. Small, compact, looks good, will drive really, really well considering how well the Nexon EV drives. And I'm thinking a realistic range of about 200, 250 kilometers easily, even if you drive a little bit of a heavy footed way. That said, how well it's gonna be priced is gonna be the key to the Altros' success in India. And moving from Tata Motors to Mahindra, Mahindra has been a bit quiet, hasn't it, in the electric world in the last couple of years, even though it was sort of the pioneer of EV tech in India. I remember seeing a Mahindra electric vehicle way back in the 90s called the Bijli. It was a little rickshaw, but nonetheless, this year is gonna be the year of the Mahindra electric SUV, which is gonna be, of course, the eXuv 300. Now, we've seen concept versions of it in the Auto Expo, but this year we will see the production version finally make it to the road. Again, realistically, I think a range of about 250, maybe up to 300 kilometers, to drive it sort of more sedately will be possible but overall it's definitely going to give the Nexon EV some great competition because it's had that segment all to itself until now. Now one of the first electric usable electric private cars launched in India was of course the Hyundai Kona. It's been around for a while now and it hasn't really done much in terms of sales but now there will be a facelift and the facelift looks really really sharp. Of course with the facelift comes more range more gadgetry, more gizmos, and I think it's gonna probably give the little kick that Hyundai needs in that EV space and push them to also bring in the Ionic range to India as well. Okay, let's move on from the mass market side of things. Let's talk about Mercedes-Benz. Now, the EQC was the first luxury EV in India, but Mercedes-Benz now has competition in that category with the Jaguar I-Pace, and more importantly, with the Audi e-tron, which is a fantastic all-around SUV. That said, Mercedes is going to bring in the EQS this year, and that will be a great rival. Well, it will be actually a great rival, the S-Class or the 7 Series, or even the Audi A8. Unlike the EQC, the EQS will actually be assembled in India. How cool is that for an electric vehicle of that caliber? Okay, so we're about halfway through our EV list and just like an EV might now require a top-up halfway through your journey, a little quick charge, I require a top-up halfway through this list as well. And it is still delicious. If you want some of this stuff, the good stuff, there is a link in the description below. Definitely go and get yourself some because this will definitely step your coffee game up. Right, let's resume our list now. Audi Q4 e-tron. Audi's e-tron, the big e-tron, is about a crore-ish, and that is a damn good package. Now, Audi's Q4 e-tron, of course, will be smaller, and I think it will be priced at, say, 70 odd lakh rupees. And again, in that segment, there isn't really anything around. Not a lot of people want to spend a full crore on an electric SUV, but people are okay today spending about 50, 60 lakh rupees and might want to stretch a little bit more and get that 70 lakh rupee electric SUV if it offers them a little more bang for their buck. The next car on my list is something that I've been looking forward to drive for a while now and something that's been delayed for quite a long time. It's the Volvo XC40 Recharge and that's the first step up that an electric car buyer is going to have from say, a Hyundai Kona that we just discussed earlier. It's probably going to be the most affordable luxury electric SUV in India. I think prices are going to be around the 50 or 60 lakh rupee price point. And again, it's a cute little SUV. It'll do really well with all the EV tech stuff into it. 
and it's a Volvo. So it's always going to be a cool, cool car. Now, this one is a little tricky because honestly, even though officially it is supposed to make it to India, I still have my doubts. It's the Ford Mustang mach -E. Now, of course, Ford has officially moved out of the country, but has promised that the direct import products will keep coming in like the next generation Mustang or the Mustang facelift, which of course is now much, much overdue, or the Mustang mach -E. and even the Ranger Raptor. Honestly though, will these products come to India and will people accept the Mustang name on an electric crossover? Well, that remains to be seen. I am still a little bit skeptical if this car will come to our shores, but if it's, well, if it's here, it's of course most welcome. And finally, did you think we're going to go through our list without mentioning Tesla? Absolutely not. But is Elon going to bring the EV maker here? Is Tesla really coming to India? Well, it does want its big tax breaks and the Indian government is a little, well, skeptical about giving it the tax breaks because if it gives Tesla the tax breaks, honestly, it should give everybody those tax breaks. That said, the lot of state governments actually trying to woo Elon into coming and setting up a factory. But I'm guessing it won't be the size of a giga factory, but maybe a sub giga factory. But will he do it? That's a question that only Elon knows the answer to as with almost everything else in the world. But I'm hoping that if that does come to India, it does sort of shake that market up a little bit, although it won't be cheap. And we know now that Tesla isn't gonna be working on a cheap hatchback anymore. And that's a list of all the hot EVs coming to India very, very soon. And obviously they will need a bit of a recharge to keep going. And if you need a bit of a recharge to get yourself going as well, hit that code in the link in the description below. The code is RAGEPD20. Get yourself recharged, have a nice hot steaming cup, and we will see you soon.